Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video of JUnit 5 tutorial, we'll talk about the conditional test execution. So first of all, we'll try to understand the, all the concept and uh, after that, we'll try to understand those concepts using a demo project. Yeah, so let's start. So here, first of all, I would like to tell you JUnit Jupyter or, or JUnit 5 allows developer to either enable or disable a test based on the certain conditions programmatically or using various annotations. Now, first of all, we'll talk about the operating system condition. A test uh, may be enabled or disabled on the particular operating system using add enabled on OS and add disabled on OS annotations. Right? Pretty simple, right? If you want to uh, enable some uh, annotation on the particular operating system, then simply you have to annotate that test method uh, using add enabled on OS or if you want to disable same on the different operating system then add disable on OS you can use. Now next uh, we'll talk about the Java runtime environment condition. So a test may be enabled or disabled on the particular versions of JRE using uh, add enable on JRE uh, and add disable on JRE annotations. Pretty straightforward right. Now next uh, we'll talk about the system property condition. A test may be enabled or disabled on the basis of value provided by the named JRE system uh, property using add enable if property if system property and add disable if system property annotations right now last but not least we'll talk about the environment variable condition a uh, test uh, may be enabled or disabled on the value of the named environment variable from the underlying operating system using add enable if environment variable and add disable if environment variable annotations one thing is very common uh, uh, regarding all these uh, conditional executions uh, you have to keep in mind uh, these annotations either you can apply on the class level or test method level if you apply on the class level then uh, that will be effective for the all the test cases available in the, that uh, test class and if you use uh, these annotations on uh, test method level that will be effective only for that test yeah so let's try to understand through an example so here is the eclipse and uh, here is the my where is my yeah here is the my eclipse and already i have created a uh, four test classes to show this demo yeah so we will start from the conditional test execution based on the operating system right so here i have a test class let me close rest of the files so here I have a class, right? And here you can see every test uh, uh, test class I have uh, like two, uh, basically four uh, four methods are that, that is considered as a life cycle method like add before all method, right? This method is annotated as add before all. This is a, one of the life cycle method which is going to execute only once before executing all the test cases. Add before each and add after, after each, this is going to execute uh, execute before any test method execution or after any test method execution right and finally we have a after all right that is going to execute once all the test cases are executed finally this is going to execute right one thing you have to keep in mind uh, here method which is annotated as at after all and at before all must be static right as you'll get the runtime error now I have three test cases and here I'm going to show you how you can conditionally execute these test cases based on the operating system yeah so before the uh, be before this test method i'm going to use enable sorry so here you can say enable uh, enable on os right so here you can specify few attributes like in value you can specify like i would like to uh, run this test course test case on let's say windows machine right so this test case is going to run on only on the windows operating system now next i would say at enabled on os here also you have provision to specify more than one operating system let's say this test cases i would like to run on the windows as well as uh, linux then you can specify so this case is test case is going to run on linux as well as windows yeah now here also you have provision to disable test cases on a particular OS. So here you can see disable on annotation is there, right? So here you can specify uh, basically 
list of OS or single OS or multiple OS where you do, you would not like to run this test case. So let's say I do, I don't want to run this test case on Mac. So that I can specify. I hope you understood how we can uh, basically uh, do the conditional uh, test uh, uh, based on the uh, operating system. Guys, one thing I would like to make you clear, this annotation you can apply on the class level as well, right? So class level also. So if you specify the class level, then this is going to apply on the each and every test cases within this class. But don't uh, do like that. Don't uh, uh, basically specify this method and class level as well as method level, right? So uh, of course, if you have a, on class level this annotation as well as method level, then method level is going to override, uh, right? Uh, class level uh, annotations uh, setting, right? So these things you have to keep in mind. Now, next thing we would like to uh, go for uh, JRE West. So as I uh, as I talked, uh, uh, basically we can uh, enable or disable uh, any test cases uh, uh, for particular JRE uh, or uh, enable or disable, right? So here uh, I have a similar cl test class over here, and I have three test case method, right? So here I am going to show you. So of course, these annotations also you can apply on the class level as well method level. So here I am going to show you the method level. So I would say enable here. You can say enable uh, on JRE, right? So here you have to specify. Uh, uh, some of the uh, enumeration right let's say i would like to run this uh, test case on the only java 8 right so here i am going to specify only java 8 now again i am going to there is second version what you can do you can apply here one or more jre you can specify let's say i would like to run this test case on jre 8 as well as jre uh, 9 right so this this uh, test case uh, method is going to run on the these two jre only right Apart from that, if uh, you want, what you can specify, you can specify the range as well, right? So here you can say, I would say enable. Here also you can use enable for JRE range. So here you can specify the JRE range as well, right? So default would be the, if you do not specify any attribute, then this is going to run on the Java 8 only. So default is the Java, Java 8, right? But here you can specify mean and max attribute, right? So here you can see mean. So let's say I would like to run this test case on minimum JRE should be eight, and max JRS JRE should be uh, let's say thirteen, right? So this test case is going to run uh, uh, run for JRE starting from the J Java eight till Java thirty, right? So that's the variation about the uh, enable uh, for JRE. Apart from that, you have also you can disable right you can disable annotations for this so you have disable on jre right you can specify single or multiple jre on which you want to restrict to run these uh, test cases right so here of course you can specify either single jre or multiple jre right so you have this provision yeah now we'll move uh, towards the next uh, conditional execution and that is nothing but uh, uh, system property condition right so here system property condition we can uh, uh, do as well right so here also uh, uh, based on the system property condition either we can enable or disable a particular uh, test cases or entire test cases within the class so if you specify this uh, annotation on the class level that is going to effective for all the test cases right and this basically these annotations is apply for the all the test cases not the life cycle method right you have to keep in mind so let's say i would like to uh, specify annotations enable if system property name i have given java vendor must uh, java vendor uh, java vendor uh, starts from the oracle then i would like to run this test uh, uh, test else it should not run right so if I run these test cases, then this should run successfully because I have installed uh, Oracle Java, right? So if you see, this has been executed successfully, right? Okay, all the test cases. So just let me run only this test case. So if I go to here, here you can see this case is this a uh, uh, test add two positive number, right? Test add two positive number executed successfully, right? So uh, based on the basically system property also you can either enable or disable uh, any uh, test case 
uh, uh, or that you can apply on the entire class. The, uh, in that case, that will be effective for the, all the test cases. So here also you have a disable connotations, right? Here you can say disable, uh, disable, or need uh, disable if system property, right? So here you can uh, specify some system property, right? System property means property name you can specify, and here in match matches you can specify some kind of regular expressions, right? And if if uh, that environment variable is matching with uh, basically system variable system property is matching with the specified regular expression, right? Then this test case is going to uh, this test case is not going to run, right? Because this is disable if property, right? So that you have to keep in mind. Last but not the least, we'll talk about the uh, we'll talk about the environment variable condition, right? So, and that's what I have another class environment variable condition, right? So there is also annotation is called uh, enable if environment variable, right? There you can specify environment variable name and in matching you can specify any string or uh, you can specify any regular expression, right? If this environment variable is matching with uh, this uh, uh, matchers or regular expression right for a specified uh, environment variable then only this test case is going to run of course we have also disable uh, opposite of this uh, if you want to disable uh, any test cases uh, for a specified uh, environment variable that also you can do for that we have a disable here you can see disable uh, dis disable environment variable so you have to uh, annotation dis disable if environment variable and disable if environment variables so here in second in this annotations you can specify more than one environment variable and for all those uh, environment variable your test case is not going to run right because this is disable right so here of course you can specify the environment variable name and value you can specify as a regular expression so guys that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial I hope you enjoy learning this video. So, uh, if you really like this video, then hit on the like button. Didn't subscribe KK Java tutorial till then please go ahead and subscribe.